a mask mandate has nothing to do with the Holocaust. Nothing at all to do with it. People appalled that someone flashed a Nazi salute during the Fox Chapel school board meeting last night. It came after the board voted to have students wear masks this fall. Chris Hoffman is live with why Jewish leaders say masking children and the Holocaust are not comparable. Chris. The Holocaust Center of Pittsburgh says there is no comparison between the Holocaust and masking children in schools. But this has been a comparison that has been made multiple times about the public health policy. Just after the Fox Chapel School Board voted for students to wear masks as the new school year begins, people at the meeting started arguing with the board before this person appears to flash the Nazi salute at the board. Seeing anything like that is such a slap in the face and so insulting to the memories of the victims of the Nazis and for the families of the survivors who are all around us in Pittsburgh. Dr. Lauren Barron's father is the director of the Holocaust Center of Pittsburgh. She says these actions minimize the Holocaust and its atrocities. Then you deny the Holocaust. And we can't stand for that. We have to know about this. This is not the first time the masks and vaccines have been compared to the systematic killing of millions of people. And for the Jewish community, this anti-Semitism especially hits a nerve. To see people comparing that to wearing a mask in public uh, is very painful to them. Adam Hertzman is with the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh and says anti-Semitism has been on the rise recently. He says education is the tool to fight this. Hate of any kind, whether it's anti-Semitism, uh, racial hatred, or other forms of bigotry, really has no place in our society. And Dr. Barron's father says what's even more disappointing is that the Fox Chapel School District is home to one of the Holocaust Center's light centers, which promote human rights. I would invite him to visit the light center at Dorseyville Middle School so he could see what's going on in his own district. In a statement, the district says, quote, the Fox Chapel Area School District hopes all members of its school community will be respectful in their interactions with each other and during district events, including public school board meetings, even during difficult conversations and differences of opinion. Now, Dr. Barron's father does plan to speak with the school board about this incident and continue the work of the Light Center in the district. Live this evening, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.